Welcome to Exam Rabbit Insights. Attention! Exam Rabbit Insights presents you the most repeated actual exam questions that every student must face in their actual exam. Exam Rabbit Insights guarantee 99% similarity of these questions appearing in actual exam. We are proud of our fantastic track record in helping students achieve top marks. Contact Exam Rabbit Help to get your exam done with guaranteed a plus score. We have a team of tutors and experts to assist you in by passing your proctored softwares and acing your exam. In this video, we are presenting the most repeated GD Science actual exam questions with answers. Must watch all these questions to get ready to counter these questions in your exam. Question number one, mechanical advantage, MA, is a measure of how much a machine multiplies the input force applied to it in order to produce work. Mechanical advantage can be calculated by using the formula shown below. Ma equal output force slash input force. A crate required 900 newtons and of force to lift. The crate was lifted by a forklift with an engine that provided 225 newtons of force. What is the mechanical advantage of the forklift? You may use the calculator. Option A, 0.25. Option B, 4. Option C, 11,255. Option D, 200 and 2,500 explanation, or is the correct answer because the mechanical advantage ma is calculated using the formula. Ma is equal to output force slash input force given. Output force is equal to 900 newtons. Input force is equal to 225 newtons. Ma is equal to 900 newtons slash 225 newtons is equal to 4 thus. The correct answer is 4. Question number 2. The table below compares the energy requirements of three display technologies for e-reader devices. Energy use comparison in e-reader display technology, technology, e-electronic link, liquid crystal, display interferometer, IC mesilator display, appearance, black and white beam, color, color, average battery life, 40 days, 10 hours, 5 days, based on the table, IMOD technology is times more energy efficient than LCD technology. You may use the calculator, type your answer in the box, explanation, 12 is the correct answer because that based on the table provided in the image, we need to find how many times more energy efficient IMOD technology is compared to LCD technology. Given average battery life of LCD technology, 10 hours average battery life of IMOD technology, five days or 120 hours efficiency comparison. Efficiency is equal to battery life of IMOD slash battery life of LCD efficiency is equal to 120 hours slash 10 hours is equal to 12. IMOD technology is 12 times more energy efficient than LCD technology. Question number three, unstable traffic flow occurs when drivers accelerate and brake too often. Unstable traffic flow wastes energy. The table below gives one example of traffic speeds in kilometers per hour, can slash H, in an unstable flow situation. Time, PM, 4 o'clock, 4.10, 4.20, 4.30, 4.40, 4.50, 5 o'clock, speed km slash h 30 20 50 70 20 70 20 what is the mean speed in km slash h in this situation you may use the calculator option a 20 option b 30 option c 40 option d 50 explanation 40 is the correct answer because to find the mean speed we sum up all the given speeds and divide by the number of time intervals speed at given times 4 o'clock e e 30 km slash h 410 e 20 km slash h 420 e 50 km slash h 430 e e 70 km slash h 440 e 20 km slash h 450 pm 70 km slash h 5 o'clock e 20 km slash h sum of speeds 30 plus 20 plus 50 plus 70 plus 20 plus 70 plus 20 to 280 number of observations 7 means speed equal to 180 divided by 7 is equal to 40. Question number 4. The cell cycle can be divided into two phases, interphase and mitosis, cell division. Mitosis is further subdivided into prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. A lab technician observed 200 cells from a cell line and recorded the number of cells in each phase of the cell cycle. The results are shown in the table. Number of cells observed out of 200, phase, no. Of cell observed, interphase, 170, prophase, 20, metaphase, 4, anaphase, 2, telophase, 4. Based on the data, what is the probability a randomly chosen cell will be observed undergoing cell division? You may use the calculator. Option A, 15%. Option B, 
18% option C, 30% option D, 85% explanation, 15% is the correct answer because, to find the probability of a cell undergoing division, 1. Total cells observed is equal to 200. 2. Cells in division, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, is equal to 20 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 33. 3. Probability is equal to 30 by 200 is equal to 0. Multiplied by 100 is equal to 15%. Question number 5. A group of scientists studied the environmental impact of internal combustion engines burning hydrocarbon fuels. The scientists equipped four vehicles with devices to capture and measure particulate emissions. One vehicle burned diesel fuel, one burned ordinary gasoline, one burned a gasoline-slash-ethanol mixture, and one burned natural gas. The four vehicles had equal masses and carried identical cargo. The scientists drove each vehicle 400 kilometers, recording the volume of fuel burned and the quantity of particulate emissions generated. What is the independent variable in this experiment? Option A, type of fuel. Option B, distance traveled. Option C, mass of vehicle and cargo. Option D, quantity of particulate emissions. Explanation, type of fuel is the correct answer because the independent variable is the variable that the scientists intentionally changed to observe its effect. This experiment, the scientists changed the type of fuel each vehicle burns, diesel, gasoline, gasoline slash ethanol mixture, natural gas, to measure its impact on particulate emissions. Question number six, an earth scientist is testing how various soil mixtures affect plant growth. She begins with 10 soil types. For each mixture, she combines equal amounts of two soil types. How many soil mixtures must the scientist create in order to test all possible combinations of the 10 soil types? You may use the calculator. Option A, 20 option B, 45 option C, 55 option D, 90 explanation. 45 is the correct answer because the scientist uses the combination formula to find the number of unique mixtures of two soil types out of 10. 102 is equal to 10 x 9 slash 2 x 1 is equal to 45. Question number seven. A news reporter in a city with several carbon emitting power plants want to see whether local temperatures match trends in global climate change. She focused on the four coldest months of the year. The table shows local temperature data from November through February for the two consecutive cold seasons checked by the reporter. Average monthly temperatures degree F, season 2011 to 2012, 2012 to 2013, November 61.1, 64.2, December 51.9, 56.8, January 53.6, 48.3, February 56.5, 55.1. How did the mean temperature change between the two cold seasons? You may use the calculator. Option A, went down by 1.4 degree. Option B, went up by 0.3 degree. Option C, went up by 0.9 degree. Option, went up by 3.7 degree. Explanation, went up by 0.3 degree is the correct answer because, to find the change in mean temperature between the two cold seasons. 1. Calculate the average temperature for each season, 2011 to 2012. 61 plus 51 plus 53 plus 56 divided by 4 is equal to 55.775 2012 to 2013 64 plus 56 plus 48 plus 55 divided by 4 is equal to 56.12 find the difference between the averages 56.1 minus 55.775 is equal to 0 0.325 approximately 0 0.3 degree Question number eight. The table below shows data for two isotopes of chlorine, Ci. The data in the percent abundance column represents the likelihood that any given atom of chlorine is a particular isotope. Isotope 35Cl, 37Cl mass, AMU, 34.97, 36.97% in abundance, 75.78, 24.22. What is the weighted average mass of chlorine? You may use the calculator. Option A, 26.50. Option B, 34.97. Option C, 35.45. Option D, 35.97. Explanation, 35.45. Is the correct answer because, to find the weighted average mass of chlorine, we use the masses and their respective abundances. 1. Mass of 35 Cl is equal to 34.97 AMU. 
abundance is equal to 75.78% 2. Mass of 37 cl is equal to 36.97 amu, abundance is equal to 24.22%, weighted average mass, weighted average is equal to 34. 97 x 75, 78 divided by 100, plus 36. 97 x 24, 22 divided by 100, equal to 34. Multiplied by 0, plus 36, multiplied by 0, equal to 26, plus 8. Equal to 35.45, question number 9, moving objects, such as automobiles, have kinetic energy, K, which is measured in joules. This energy can be calculated using the following formula. A person drives an automobile with a mass of 450 kilograms at a velocity of 26 meters per second. The driver accelerates to a velocity of 30 meters per second. The difference in the automobile's kinetic energy between the two velocities is joules, you may use the calculator. Explanation, 50,400 is the correct answer because, one, formula application, kinetic energy, K, is calculated using the formula. K is equal to one divided by two mv square two. Given values, mass m equal 450 kg initial velocity, v1 is equal to 26 m slash s, final velocity, v2 is equal to 30 m slash s, three. Calculations. Initial k, k1 equals to 1 div d d by 2 x 450 x 26 square is equal to 152,100 joules. Final k, k2 equal 1 slash 2 x 450 x 30 square is equal to 202,500 joules. 4. Difference in k, difference. Delta k is equal to delta e2 minus 1 is equal to 202,500 minus 152,100 is equal to 50,400 joules. Question number 10. One way to determine the age of Earth is to measure the ratio of certain 10 radioactive elements to their more stable forms. By comparing the amount of the radioactive form of an object with the stable one, and by knowing how long it takes to turn from one to the other, scientists can estimate the age of the object. Some people argue that the decay rate has not always been the same, and that it can be much faster than scientists have measured in labs. Nuclear power plants use radioactive elements to produce power because, during the decay process, energy is released. If scientists are wrong about Earth's age based on radioactive material and the decay rates are really much faster, how would nuclear power plants be affected? Option A, nuclear fuel would remain useful longer. Option B, the rate of energy release would be higher. Option C, the amount of energy release would be less. Option D, nuclear fuel would generate less radioactivity. Explanation. The rate of energy release would be higher is the correct answer because 1. Faster decay rate. If decay rates are faster, radioactive elements decay more quickly. 2. Energy release. Faster decay means more rapid energy release during the decay process. 3. Impact. In nuclear power plants, this would result in a higher rate of energy production.